Talk about busy weekend. Headed to Bloomington. It's Little 500 weekend. There's a track meet, a baseball game, and a softball game. All happening on one college campus. And look at this. Grayson Radcliffe there with a nice hit. We're going to talk about that specific play in a, in a minute. She's a third baseman and a senior on the softball team, the undisputed team leader. She's talking to us live this morning about this big weekend, this season, and a really important program back now for 2022. Grayson, good morning to you. Good to see you. Good morning, Angela. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. I love women. I love girls sports specifically to talk about them and give you guys some attention. I'll be at the game Saturday, but before we talk specifically about Saturday, are you ready for this insane weekend of track, baseball, softball, and little five? I mean, it's going to be busy, but you know, who doesn't love a beautiful weekend in Bloomington? So it's going to be exciting. 80 degrees, it sounds like, for your baseball game or softball game, excuse me. It's going to be dry. I want to talk um, first before we get into your season and how you guys are doing. So many young girls look up to you and your team. And I want to let people know that this little CIS program is back. It's so meaningful to you. Why is it so important? You know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that you win with people, um, and I know that I was once in those little girl's shoes with such big dreams and all of my softball ahead of me, and so I think any time that you get the opportunity to just impact a life, whether it's taking a picture or having a conversation, signing a ball, waving at them at a game, um, you know, that means the world to them, and it's just so fulfilling to us. So the opportunity to, to change a life or to impact a life uh, is just something that not a lot of other college players in my position get. No, I got to um, bring my daughter down to a game when she was little. It's on my Twitter page that I posted yesterday, um, surrounded by the softball team, kind of hugging her, and it does mean a lot. So thank you all in the program for what you're doing. You had a really cool play um, against Rutgers, a game-winning hit. You also were... You've been injured. I want to talk a little bit about this. Well, we just saw an amazing play at third base, too. Um, tell us about the, the season so far and kind of how you've been, you've been handling yourself as one of the team leaders. Yeah, I mean, we have a young team, but um, it's exciting because we are so talented, and this is probably one of the most talented teams that I've been on since I've been at Indiana. And um, I like to think that we have all the opportunities ahead of us. Um, you know, we've had our ups and we've had our downs, and uh, being injured certainly hasn't been something that I imagined was in my year, but I'm a firm believer that the Lord has a plan and mm. uh, that everything happens for a reason. And so having that injury, uh, there was a purpose in it, and, you know, there's a purpose in what has happened so far in our season, and the best is yet to come, and the best is ahead of us, and so I'm excited for a great opportunity this yeah, weekend. Yeah, we're seeing some of uh, the video in the locker room, and I think we're going to show some crowd surfing here, or uh, <laughs> team surfing here in a minute. Um, what does it mean to you? There you go. They're picking you up. and <laughs> I love that. But being part of something bigger than yourself. And again, when young girls can watch you, or really anybody, can see um, how people can come together for the greater good of anything and what athletics can do for someone. How do you like to share that with anybody watching this morning? I just think that when you're a part of a team, it's a community and a family that other people don't get the opportunity to have. And so... I have an opportunity right now to lean on the people to the left and to the right of me. Uh, they're my sisters and my coaches are the most supportive and amazing people in the world. And so just the opportunity to walk through this season with them, uh, with my last days wearing the Indiana script has just been mm. something that, you know, I'm so proud of. And I know um, you've had a lot of support from your family too. I mean, anybody that's had a, a, a child and has gone through travel softball and everything it takes to get to the level of where you are at Division One. Um, it's something to just really be inspired by to see um, what you can do. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, my parents have meant the world to me. <laughs> uh, they're my biggest supporters. So it's been a great ride. All right, give me real quick. Um, Northwestern, they're ranked uh, number 10 or number 11, I think. You guys yeah. play on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Last word here on uh, what you're thinking about the game. I mean, we're ready to just jump on them and attack. We're in line mode, and we're ready for it. All right, so there's the information right there. Again, they play Northwestern Friday night and Saturday at 6 p.m. Sunday, the game's at 1. It's going to be gorgeous in Bloomington. Saturday, I will see you at the game. Well, I might awesome. not really see you, but I'll, I'll wave you. and I'll say hello and we'll be screaming for you. Good luck. Perfect. Okay, we'll see Love you. Love it. Thank you, Angela. Absolutely.